viewers, you're welcome to Better Faith e-learning platform. My name is Eunice Egwasa and I'm going to be teaching English language for basic 3 and primary 3 classes. Please get your mat learning materials and settle down to learn. This morning, we are going to be looking at another aspect of English language, which is comprehension passage. So we are going to be reading of comprehension passage, and it is taken from your Learn English Book 4 text book, Unit 18, page 119. And the topic of our passage is at Lekki Beach. Please, for you to be able to, to answer your comprehension questions correctly, you need to listen attentively to me. Okay? Please, I want you to pay undivided at attention to me. The passage is at Lekki Beach, Unit 18, page 119 of your Learn English uh, Book 4 test book at Lekki Beach. It was a bright and sunny Thursday. Aminu and Aminat woke up very early and got dressed for school. It was their picnic day to mark the end of the term in school. All other pupils had arrived, neatly dressed with their food packs. Mr. Ibrahim had made all the arrangements for the picnic. The bus that would convey them was on standby. At exactly 9 a.m., the pupils entered the bus and set out for Lekki Beach in Lagos. They arrived Lekki Beach in the company of their teacher at about 11 a.m. The pupils were very excited at the sight of the ocean. The water tumbled in white cascades until it got to the shore. The kids were set for a wonderful day. Some of them wanted to swim in the water, but their teacher prevented them, warning them that the water could get them drowned. There were other exciting scenes at the beach. Tayo and Ephio got carried away as they watched a group of people in white garments. They stood praying fervently in a shade near the sea. They were, they were also traders selling edible things, especially fruits. Very few pleasure seekers were around at this time of the day at the beach. The children saw horses carrying people around the beach with the help of their owners for a fee of 300 naira. Ovie and Ben would have loved to ride the horses if not for their lean pockets. At about 2.30 p.m., the pupils were called together to take their lunch. They all soon finished their meals because they still wanted to play around. Mr. Ibrahim allowed them a few minutes, after which he called them together again for them to get ready to leave the beach. It was a really refreshing day for the children. I hope you listened attentively to that uh, comprehension passage. But in case you did not get it, you can replay the video 
so you understand everything that I just read. Okay? Good. So the passage I just read to you is at Lekki Beach. The children were taken to a place to have fun, to unwind. And that is called picnic. And the particular place they went to was called Lekki Beach. Okay? Good. So you are going to answer the questions. Your practice exercise. The questions following the comprehension passage which I just read is on page 120 of your text. Alright. Question number one. Why did the children go for the picnic? Two. Who made all the arrangements for the picnic? Three. At what time did they leave their school? Four. What did the pupils carry? Five. Where was the picnic? Six. Who got carried away by a scene at the beach? Seven. What were they watching? Eight. How much was the fare for the horse? Horse ride. Let me take it again. Question eight. How much was the fare for the horse ride? Nine. Who wanted to ride the horse? Ten. Why did the pupils finish their meals quickly? So these are the questions for you to answer. Please answer on your on your notebook, which will be submitted when we resume. All right. Quickly, you are also going to make sentences with the following words. These words were actually picked from the story I just read to you. So from your understanding of these words, you are going to make your own sentences with these words. Number one, make a sentence with the following words. Number one, picnic. The word picnic. First of all, if you don't know the meaning of the word, quickly you have to check your dictionary. And from the meaning, you'll be able to make a sentence with it. Number two is tumbled. The word tumbled. Make a sentence with the word tumbled. Number three, the word sure. Make a sentence with the word sure. Number four, the word drowned. You have to make a sentence with the word drowned. Number five, you have to make a sentence with the word refreshing. Refreshing. Please, in making your sentences, always look at the words. If it's a present tense, or if it's a continuous tense, or if it's a past tense, so that you know how to construct your sentences. Do you understand? Please, I said you should check the words, check the words as they are, to know if it's a present tense, a past tense or a continuous tense so as to make the correct uh, sentence. Is that understood? Good. So please make sure you answer the questions that I've just given to you and be good children. Thank you. God bless. <laughs>